And then when I learned that black holes can dilate time, that's really what sealed the deal for me and what made me very convinced that I wanted to spend the rest of my life studying these really mysterious and fascinating objects. I'm Leah Medeiros. I am an NSF astronomy and astrophysics postdoctoral fellow at the Institute for Advanced Study. And for the last seven years, I've been a member of the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration. In the new SAG star EHT results, we published six papers, and I co-led the sixth paper in that series. I've also been coordinating the gravitational physics working group within the EHT for the last two and a half years. I first became interested in black holes in high school. Before that, I was really interested in math. And actually, the reason I became so interested in math as a child was that I moved around a lot and I actually lived in several different countries. And I realized from a really early age that math was universal. It was the same in every country. And so it seemed like a deeper, more universal truth to me, even as a young child. And it was in high school when I realized why math was universal. And I realized that math could be used to not only describe the universe, but actually make predictions for it. And specifically when I learned about the fact that black holes dilate time, that's really what sealed the deal for me and what made me realize that I wanted to spend the rest of my life trying to better understand these really fascinating and mysterious objects. The NSF support has been crucial for the completion of this project and allowed us to use a global array of telescopes to image astrophysical black holes. The first ever image of the black hole in the center of our own galaxy allows us to test fundamental physics in unprecedented ways. Together with the first detection of gravitational wave events from just a few years ago, signify the dawn of a new era of astrophysics where we can finally use astrophysical black holes to test Einstein's theory of gravity in the strong field regime. When I was in graduate school pursuing my PhD, I was actually in a really difficult position. At the university that I was at, I couldn't find an advisor that had a project I was interested in and had grant support to actually financially support me throughout my PhD. And I was actually really strongly considering leaving the field. I had already lined up uh, an alternative non-academia job, actually. And so I applied to the NSF's Graduate Research Fellowship Program. And when I was awarded that fellowship, it was really life-changing for me and really is the only reason that I'm still a scientist today. That fellowship not only allowed me to continue my PhD studies to get my PhD, but it also gave me the flexibility and the freedom to spend most of my PhD away from my main institution. And I was actually able to spend time at multiple universities working with various different researchers, specifically on the important science questions that I am most excited about. And so without this fellowship, I would definitely not be a scientist today. The NSF Astronomy and Astrophysics Postdoctoral Fellowship has also allowed me to carry out a significant outreach activity. During the last semester, I've been working with a classroom full of students that are very recent refugees from Guatemala. So there are about 24 students. Most of them are actually um, very recent refugees from just a few months ago. And many of them have not been able to attend school for the last year or two. And so I'm teaching them astronomy, trying to get them interested in and excited about school again. And what's really uh, important to me, and one of the reasons that I am so passionate about this project personally, is that I myself am an immigrant from South America. And I wish that as I was growing up, I could have also learned science from somebody that I could have related to on a more personal level. And I hope that this can be empowering to these students. And so it's just really wonderful to get them to engage with school again. And I think it can be really powerful for them to see um, um, a another immigrant from South America as a scientist and to actually learn science from somebody that they can relate to on a more personal level.